Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're closing out the second week of June and opening up the third week. So without further ado, let's start. We're gonna start with the expenses. I did overspend quite a lot. Uh, let's actually calculate all of the totals for categories because I didn't do that. Um, and then I'm gonna walk you through it and tell you what I spent money on. That was 1986. Let me quickly do that. I usually do it off camera, but I don't know why I decided not to do it this time. Maybe I didn't have time. Literally this week has been crazy. Haven't had time to even go to the gym. You know, like sometimes people find excuses not to go, but I've literally haven't had even like 30 minutes uh, from my day free to do some stuff. So, um, yeah, okay, so uh, categories are done. I spent completely everything in groceries, spending, and dine out. So that's 40, 90, 98 plus 50. Plus, I spent 292 for travel. I did go to Belgrade and Serbia for a quick weekend trip. I did uh, post uh, my travel vlog there. I'm gonna link it in the um, corner uh, up here uh go check it out if you want i did like a what i spent so i wrote down all of the expenses i had uh 45 went into beauty uh 1986 went into gas because i did a road trip i needed to fill in my thank 62.59 was upkeep miscellaneous things like coffee stuff like that utilities was 53.21 because it's summer there's no heating it's a lot less than we had in winter 16 went into subscriptions which is my phone bill 115 i took from birthdays because i ordered myself some new perfumes i ran out of all of my perfumes simultaneously so i just decided to order two of my like main ones that i use and the third like an extra so that was um, a little over a hundred and I took it from birthdays because I had some leftover money for my and my sister's birthday that I didn't know where to allocate so I was like just let's do it like that it's as a gift for myself and then 150 went into health so in total this week we spent 772 euros and 56 cents which is once again a lot but I expected it because of the travel and everything and I sometimes have have weeks like that where everything just falls together uh, at the same time so we had a paycheck of 300 euros for the actual and we had a 12 euro rollover so that was three tw uh, 312 so I decided uh, afterwards because I did have such a high spending week for my cash envelopes I realized that I don't really have anywhere to pull from if I don't um, if I overspend, so of course I have like upkeep and miscellaneous and stuff like that, but I decided to, in this miscellaneous category, I'm just gonna take out these tabs for like seasons and I'm just gonna keep it as one. And this miscellaneous is going to be like for miscellaneous spending, but also as a buffer. So if I overspend on some categories, I can pull it from here. And from now on, I usually, if I had anything left over in grocery spending or done out, I put it in my savings uh, binder. But from now on, I will put all of the rollover into the miscellaneous. So as I said, it could act as a snowball and be as a buffer. So today we don't have any rollover because we spent everything, but uh, from next week, hopefully I will be able to move some rollover from these three envelopes into the miscellaneous, just to kind of even everything out. If I have weeks where I spent like, let's say 40, uh, like 35, then I will put five of those into the miscellaneous just to have kind of a, as I said, a buffer for the uh, weeks like this and especially now when i have lower paychecks and i do i am used to maybe a little bit more money uh weekly so it will be also a period of adjustment for me just so i also feel safer so 50 went into rent and 10 went into one month ahead so total that was 170 142 was left no amounts really changed because we're not putting anything anywhere um, so 10 went into birthdays and 10 went into Christmas, 5 into clothing, 15 into travel, so that was 40, 102, 25 went into deposit, 5 into pets, 15 in retirement, 5 in technology and weddings, 55, 47, and that is indeed what we stuffed last week. 47, 0 euros left to budget, which means that each year of our can uh, income has a place to go into our budget let me quickly take out my cheat sheet and we're gonna set up next week's budget 
So we are going to work with 350 euros this week. That's our paycheck number three. We are gonna put 50 into groceries, 20 into spending and 50 into dine out. We are putting 25 into rent, five into miscellaneous and one month ahead we'll get 50. So in total that's 50 plus 20 plus 50, 25 plus five plus 50, 200. So 350 minus 200 is 150. I love when math is easy. So 150 we're bringing up here to short-term sinking funds. Birthdays is going to get 10 and Christmas is going to get 10 and 20 is going into travel. So that's pretty much all we're stuffing here. So that's 10 plus 10 plus 20 is 40. So 150 minus 40 is 110. We're bringing that down to long-term sinking funds. We're going to put five into car, 25 into deposit. We have five going into pets and 20 in retirement. And that's going to be it for this. So five. 25 plus 25 plus 5 plus 20 is 55 so 110 minus 55 is 55 so we're putting that into savings 55 so we had um, the 25 that we needed for last week I scratched off of my one of my savings challenges an amount more than I had so 25 of this will go to cover that and then 30 of that we will stuff into the new challenges so 55 and zero euros left to budget and we budgeted all of our paycheck so that's it for this week's video not this week's today's video sorry so once again if you want to see the vlog trip from my vlog video from my uh, trip to Belgrade make sure to check it out is the last video that I uploaded and yes I will be back tomorrow with a cash stuffing of this paycheck hope you enjoy it and you decide to stay to watch that as well but I think that's all I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna let you go on with your day but yes that's all thank you for watching I love you all guys and I'll see you next time bye